This is the uh, video for module eight, lesson zero. This is solving systems. This is a very short introduction. Normally when we teach our lessons, we show you the correct method, and then we show you how you can use technology to solve the problems. Um, this time around, we're gonna do it in reverse. We're gonna show you the shortcut method. This was actually the test day, so it needed to be something short, but something you could work on after you finished your test. So basically what we're gonna do today is we're gonna look at a system of equations, and we're gonna use Desmos to look how to find the intersection. So first of all, system of equations is a new expression for you. So it's something that has two equations and two unknowns, normally x and y, and the solution is where they intersect. So for example, here I've got my two equations, and if you type them into Desmos, if you type them in on two separate lines, it'll actually draw the picture for you, and all you're looking for is where do they intersect. So you can literally just take a reading from the x-axis and the y-axis and see that it's the coordinate 2, 1, and just remember what this actually means. This is the x coordinate and this is the y coordinate. So it means that x is two and y is one. Now, if you want to check your answer to see if that's true, then just substitute in and it must work for both equations. So does one equal one half of two? And the answer is yes. And on this equation here, does one equal negative two times two plus five? And once again, the answer is yes, which is why that's the answer to that system. Now, just so you can see the actual difference as you start to type this into Desmos, and I'm not sure how easy this is going to be to be able to do from the front of the screen. So as I open my keyboard up, I'm literally just typing in those two equations that we saw a second ago, y equals one half x. Remember to get the fractions, you need the divide button, and then it creates that little fraction there for you. And then we can type in the top number, we can type in the bottom number, and then click to the side before you put in the x. What we don't want to do is one over two x, we want to make sure it's just one half x. And then it draws that picture there for us. And then after you've typed in the first equation, just click down a row, and then you can type in the second equation, which was y equals negative two x plus five. And all I actually did was I did a screen grab on that shot before, so you can actually see what happened. The difference with actually using a real Desmos is, once you've got your two lines drawn, you can literally just click on the intersect, and it will tell you exactly what it is. So this is very powerful for you now. You can type equations that are in slope intercept form, ones that start with y equals. You can type equations that start in standard form, as in they have x and y on the same side, and any other form you can imagine. You can literally just type these in, look where do they cross, and that's gonna be your answer to the system. So something you can use on tests, something you can use on the SOL as well. So a really important method for you. Now, there are a couple of special cases as well. For example, if you type these two graphs in, you actually get a pair of parallel lines, and these do not cross. So the question I always ask is, do they cross? No, therefore the answer must be no solution. So keep an eye out for that as well. Now, some people who do the exercises on this actually notice things as well like they remember the ones that are in slope intercept form. If they have the same slope, as in this case, negative one half, then that means they must automatically be parallel and they just have different y-intercepts. And some people can recognize straight away that these would be no solutions before they even type them in. So good if you can remember to do that, but if you're not sure, just go ahead, type them into Desmos and look to see which pattern you see. And the third case is infinite solutions. Now I have two pictures here so I'm gonna cover up one, just so you can focus on one. After I typed in the first equation, notice this one's not colored in. After I typed in the first equation, it draws the line and it gives you that blue line. Now, when I get to the second one, and I switched it on this time, can you see how the line changes color? And that's because actually these two equations are exactly the same as each other. They're just written in a slightly different form. So when you get exactly the same line, the phrase we're gonna use is infinite solutions. Now, when you go to do your IXL exercises, and I just clicked on the wrong screen there, um, you should be also using some of the certain vocabulary words that we use as well. So if you see ones that intersect, which was our first case, you can use the phrase consistent and dependent. If you see the ones where they do not cross, you can use the word inconsistent. 
And if you see infinite solutions, you can use the phrase consistent and independent. And those words are mentioned on your worksheet, so make sure you look at that as you're doing that exercise. Also in terms of the SOL, they can also ask the question, how many solutions are there, rather than what are the solutions? So if we see that they cross like this, then the answer would just be once. It crosses one time. If you see no solution, then that doesn't cross any times, so that would be zero solutions. And for the one where it's exactly the same line when you type it in, that would be infinite solutions. So keep an eye out for that question as well. You might get the one which says, is it zero, one, or infinite? And probably with it being multiple choice, you'll probably get another answer that says two, because there's two lines, and sometimes people assume that that means there's two solutions to those questions. And that's the, that's the method for Desmos. Uh, it's pretty much self-working. Type in the questions carefully, and you should get the answers for these ones all correct.